So hello everyone, this is Prashant. Continuing on our playlist, we are almost approaching the end of our playlist today. And this will complete your complete basic introduction of SQL with Python. So as discussed in our introduction, I had told you that we'll be learning how do we connect our Python script to a SQL through using SQL to connect to our Oracle database. And after that, how do we extract the data from database into our Python files that we have already done. As you can see here in our last tutorial, I had shown you that how do you pull out the data of your interest from the Oracle database. And now after playing with the data set that we have acquired, I'm going to show you how do you push back your data as per your requirement. Let's say our requirement is for any Let's say for any location, what will be the minimum, maximum and mean production uh, that is supposed to be shown in a table in our database, right? So how do we do it? So let's say for that purpose, first we'll make ready. What is the output that we need to push? So yeah, so data to push. Data to push over here is let's say the mean, mean, mean minimum and maximum, right? So in that case, you, as we know, dot describe is used for any um, description of your series or say for any data frame right so in df query 2 as we have learned it is taking that value of production for turkey so after running this command we got the values right now the basic thing is how do we do it how do we push back our data for that purpose we need to create a cursor what is cursor so in simple language, I'd like to tell you, cursor is just like a weapon that you are going to use. If you want to extract a data, you can use query language SQL to extract a data. But to push something back into a data set, database, or if you want to update something into your database, you need a weapon and that weapon is cursor. So going through the practical definition, the, defi the definition is to execute a SQL query and to provide result some special object is required that is nothing but cursor object this is basic definition and I have, I have explained to you in the layman language that it's just a weapon that you are going to use to make any changes in your database to extract a data you don't need a cursor but to do any sort of change in your database you need a weapon and that weapon is cursor how do you create a cursor for that you will just need your oracle connection oracle con connection that we have made over here oracle connection that we had made providing all the details oracle con and oracle connection dot cursor will make you a will give you a cursor right so let's say we want to create a table we will need to create output table so i have already written the query for that the query for that is create table t oil push and uh, i will be giving you the link to the video where you can learn all these basic queries that i am using right now uh, please go through it before going through this because this is going to just be the end So if you haven't been through that you won't be able to connect that what I'm going to tell you or what what am I trying to tell you? Right, so query is create table T oil push where all these are column names as you know Location which will be variable character 26 average which will be a number 10 comma 2 number 10 comma 10 comma 2 denotes that it will be a 10 digit number in which after the decimal you will have two numbers right so it's like eight numbers before decimal and two numbers after decimal exactly the same thing we have done in our mini we have created a data type of number for minimum value and for maximum value we have created this and you can run this query by cursor.execute cursor.execute will execute your query what you can do is you can just copy this over here and you can also you can just write a you can just write cursor dot execute and write your query and that will do the same thing i have just written it separately for a better understanding right and after that you will commit what is commit commit is just like in place the command that you give in place equal to true like if you want to sort anything you can give the sort command in your pandas data frame you sort the values and after that if you want to make that change in the data frame itself, you write in place equal to true, right? And exactly the same thing happens when you write Oracle connection dot commit. Whatever query that has been executed by this cursor will be committed only after you give this command after your execution. 
So once we are done with our execution, we'll write Oracle Connection dot commit, and this will provide us with a table in our data in our database. You can also create database through various methods, as I have already told you in my uh, second lecture in this playlist. That how what are the different ways in which you can create a table, right? You can go through it. And let me show you. So yeah, uh, let us see where is our T oil push. Yeah, see, it has been created already over here. We don't have data over in it, but we have already created it. And what are the different data types you can see from here? So now, so yeah, moving back to our script. So what are the details that we have? As of now, in DF Query 2, we have all these details, right? And what is our output requirement? So our requirement is requirement that we want to push is first we need mean, we need minimum, we need maximum value, and we need we need location as well right we need all these four values so as we know we have already extracted values only for a single place that is turkey so we have the location so what we'll do is we'll just make a list we'll make a list of all these data set and in the sequence that we need it in our table so what is the sequence first we need location then we need average then we need minimum then we need maximum right so uh, let's say if i it's a list uh, list to be pushed right so list pushed is equal to location is turkey and uh, what is the uh, minimum what uh, and what are the things we require so yeah what i do is uh, let me show you yeah so in that case dear query 2 well uh, Value. We have value production, right? So if we write dot describe, we have the minimum, we have the mean, we have minimum, and we have the maximum value. What are their index positions? It's one, three, and uh, five. Eight. So yeah, the you need not do with this procedure you know that how do you how do you find the mean how do you find the minimum value how do you find the maximum value i'm just telling you the way that i use generally is i just will copy it and for mean i know it's position it's at index position one and a minimum is at index position zero one two three and uh, My maximum is at index position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? So, what is the list pushed? So, yeah, we have these values, right? Now we have the values. Now, how do you push it back into a data? For that purpose, you have this command of execution, you execute it. So, how do you execute your, your, your query? So, for ex execution, we have cursor dot execute. This will execute your query. Now write the query over here. It is insert insert into t oil. Wait, wait, wait. Insert into t oil push now write the column names where you want to push uh, we want it for location location average minimum and maximum the values will be taken from all the rows of first column, all the rows of second column. I'll explain all this. All the rows of third column, 
and all the rows of four co fourth column from list first. So yeah, what I have done is you have uh, there are two different commands. Like if you want to push more than a single row, for that you will have to write execute many. And if you are just going to push single row in any table, you can write this command as execute. Fine. So you will write this as execute. And in that you will write the complete command, complete SQL query that what do you want to push. So insert into T I'll put push which is our table name and then we give followed by the column names where we want to push. So it's location average minimum maximum in the sequence we want to push and the values will be here it's a single value so for that purpose giving this command does all the rows of first column means just the single value but in case you have multiple values that we'll be doing in our uh, capstone project that will be just after this i'll show you that how do this help it just means that you want the first value so for first value i have written all the rows of first column all the rows of second column all the rows of third column all the rows of fourth column in the list right so it has just taken the single values and in the sequence we want to push it and then we pass on the list from where we want to push the data. And as we know after that we will need to commit our changes. So how do we commit it? Which is this command ora con dot commit and then you can just close your connection. So let's, let, 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 let us see that uh, has our data populated or not. See, as you can see, our data has populated over here. Now let's get back. Now what we can do is just we can close our connection. So we have to close the cursor. And our cursor closed. So yeah, this is the complete project. See what I have. Let me take you back to the through the complete process. First, we import all the libraries. Then what we do, we establish the connection between our Oracle database in this and, uh, and the script. How do we do it? We do it with the help of connection string that we pass on with the library CX Oracle that will connect our script with the database. This is our script and it is connected to our database. And then what we do, what are the data that you want to execute, you want to take out from your Oracle database, you need to write it in SQL. So I have written the query in SQL and then we have just passed on it with the PSQL that will read our query and will get us the data that we have asked you to fetch and then we have played along with the data that how we use the data and depends upon case to case that how do you want to use it and after you have got the data I have just taken out all the data set that I want and what is the output that I require for any place in case I want minimum maximum mean value and the location of that place in a different table from any dynamic data set how do I do it I'll just take out the data from my source data I'll rearrange it in my script and then I'll push it back using the connection string from a cursor. What is a cursor? Cursor is just a weapon that you use for any changes that you want to make in your database, right? So yeah, we have almost completed the basics of SQL with Python. Now we'll be doing a capstone project that will be coming up very soon on the same channel. So please stay tuned and uh, you can connect to me on LinkedIn. The Link will be in description. My GitHub is there. And in case of any doubt regarding, even if it's regarding installation of SQL Developer, Oracle Database, or be it any any doubt from your purpose, you can ask me over there. So thank you, and uh, I hope you complete it very soon. So yeah, see you.